My talk at the table is about a chat with Oprah about the death of Queen Elizabeth. As you know, Oprah sat down with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in a very revealing interview last year. It made a lot of news. While well, I was in Toronto this past weekend uh, doing a story with Oprah about Sidney Poitier's the documentary at the Toronto Film Fest. More on that a little bit later on. But of course, the conversation about the Queen came up, and I asked her about her thoughts about that. And because every time I see a story about Oprah, Harry, and Meghan, it's bombshell interview, bombshell interview. So I wanted you to know, what do you think about the characterization, Oprah, about bombshell interview? I was as surprised by the bombshell as everybody else. I was doing an interview to offer them a platform to tell their story about why they left. And that was my number one intention, was just clarity on why did you leave? And so some of the things that were revealed in that interview came as a surprise to me. And those surprises are now referred to as bombshell. But I didn't set out to do a bombshell interview. Mm -hmm. I set out to do uh, an interview, have a conversation that would allow them to tell their story. Mm -hmm. And now people say reconciliation, reconciliation. We hope the brothers reconcile. What do you say? I do not get into people's family matters. And I, you know, everybody who has experienced some challenges in their families with in-laws or brothers or sisters knows how difficult some of those situations can be. And I'm sure that, you know, for the royal family, it's no different. And uh, nobody consults me about their family business. So I try to stay out of people's family business. And after mm. that, Oprah goes, and Gail, that is the end of this interview. Uh, because, <laughs> so we were there because we were, as, as I said, Oprah produced a documentary on um, Sidney Poitier. Yeah. So we had interviewed Oprah, who's a producer, Reggie Hudlin, the director, and, and three of the Poitier daughters. So that's the reason why we were there. She yeah. didn't say, you know, I'd like to sit down and talk about Harry and Meghan and the royals, because that's the last thing she wanted to do. Right. But I did say to her, you know, you've never met the queen. What are your thoughts? She goes, actually, I did meet the queen hmm. at Harry and Meghan's wedding. I totally forgot about this. She's standing in line to meet the queen, and she sort of, sort of stumbled and bumbled a bit, trying to curtsy to not curtsy, and they had a very brief exchange. So she has actually met the queen. Wow. Mm -hmm. now, that's well, why I said, wow, you did meet her. Only Oprah would meet such an echelon of stars on a regular basis that she'd be like, oh, I forgot to mention. I, <laughs> I met the I queen. I forgot yeah. to mention. Yeah. It was interesting. Yeah. But you're right. Exactly it was a right. bombshell interview. Yeah, that's for sure. That's not, that's not how she characterized it. Right. But you're right. But it was, though. That's, that's how the way it was received. That's how it turned out. Yep.